crosshair is aligned. Station of policy. So we are exactly. Uh, we are aligned exactly with the uh, axis of the dock and port. Standing by for the SSVP LEDs to come on. Now receiving uh, video from the uh, Soyuz vehicle as uh, we have begun uh, a trek across uh, a string of Russian ground stations, 58 meters separating the two vehicles. Yuri Malenchenko, the Soyuz commander, flying under the call sign of Agat, uh, which is uh, the word for a very lustrous stone. Uh, he's calling out uh, the precise alignment uh, of that cross-haired uh, docking camera with uh, the docking target on the Rosviet module, everything continuing to proceed in excellent shape. Okay. We confirm SSPP group LEDs on. Uh, final approach parameters are nominal and we are aligned with the axis. Now flying over northwest Kazakhstan, just 40 meters away from the International Space Station, the three-section Soyuz vehicle. The forward section is the orbital module with the forward docking probe extended, ready to come into contact with the Rosviet module docking port. The crew, uh, Malenchenko, Williams, and Hoshide, are in their contoured uh, custom-made seat liners. Uh, in the center section, the descent module, the only portion of the Soyuz that returns to Earth, and at the very back end, that white section with the solar rays is the instrumentation and propulsion module, obviously where the propellant tanks and the engines are located. Uh, the rate is nominal, crosshair is aligned. Copy. We're approaching 20 meters. The target is at the center. A slight deviation in the course, but less than half of the width of the beam. The uh, laconic uh, voice of Yuri Malenchenko, the Soyuz commander, uh, reporting uh, that uh, his vehicle is close to 20 meters away from the International Space Station now. The uh, space station, one million pounds of mass, the Soyuz vehicle and an orbital ballet just meters away from one another, traveling at five miles a second over central Kazakhstan. Uh, we confirm small roll. And uh, the uh, misalignment in the pitch is being compensated and we are still within the tolerance. We are crossing 15 meters, the rate is normal. Uh, the uh, target is very close to the center, crosshair is aligned, copy.
William Dalvin. You can see the uh, Corps automated rendezvous system, uh, the crosshairs in this engineering view, uh, just about perfectly aligned with the docking target on the Rosviet module. Just 10 meters separating the two spacecraft. Now inside four meters, standing by for contact and capture. Parameter. All parameters are within the range. Rate is normal. Copy. We see a small misalignment, but again, everything is within the range. It's been compensated. The rate is normal. Standing by for contact. Uh, the target is almost at the center. Cross here is aligned. Uh, contact confirmed. Capture confirmed. Contact. Docking confirmed. Docking confirmed at 11.51 p.m. Central Time, 12.51 a.m. Eastern Time over Northeast Kazakhstan. 7.51. 15. Copy. Again, docking confirmed at 11.51 p.m. Central Time, 12.51 a.m. Eastern Time, as the Soyuz and the International Space Station. The probe is being extended, so everything is perfect. The International Space Station and the Soyuz flying 252 miles over northeast Kazakhstan at the time of contact and capture. The... Uh, Station is now in free drift. Uh, all thrusters are currently disabled uh, to enable the relative motion between the two vehicles to dampen out for the retraction of the forward docking probe. David, thank you very much. Malenchenko acknowledging uh, congratulations from flight controllers here at the Russian Mission Control Center in Koryov. So on the 37th anniversary of that famous handshake in space by Tom Stafford and Alexei Leonov during the Apollo-Soyuz mission, another union of crews takes place to continue that legacy. Close RPV-1 valve. And uh, wasting little time, uh, the visiting vehicle officer reports that the forward docking probe on the Soyuz is currently being retracted. That will bring uh, the two uh, docking interfaces between the station uh, and the Soyuz uh, into a firm uh, mate with one another and enable uh, hooks to begin uh, the initiation of their closure. Agate, standing by for the first measurement. Moscow, how copy? Agate, how do you copy us? No, it's loud and clear. Apple 1 is closed. We are in the process of measurement. We started at 7.53. At 7.53, zero, zero, that would be the time of the actual measurement, right? Yes, affirmative. What is the SF pressure? 835. Orbital compartment, 805. Instrumentation compartment, 860. Copy.
so a uh, smooth and uneventful docking uh, by the book, executed uh, automatically uh, through the uh, work of the crew on board the, the Soyuz TMA-05M, the Soyuz Commander Yuri Malenchenko in the center seat uh, of the Soyuz's descent module, uh, flanked uh, on his left by board engineer Sonny Williams, the NASA flight engineer, and on his right by Aki Hoshide of the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency. The uh, docking probe on the forward end of the Soyuz uh, is retracting. That uh, will be completed uh, to initiate uh, the closing of the hooks uh, from the uh, Soyuz vehicle to form a hard mate between the Soyuz and the Rossiyev module docking port and uh, to initiate a period of two orbits or three hours' worth of leak checks to make sure we have a tight seal between the two craft, leading to the pressurization of the small vestibule uh, between uh, Rosviet and the Soyuz and the eventual opening of the hatches between the two spacecraft. And as we mentioned, uh, it is noteworthy uh, that today, uh, July 17th, is the 37th anniversary of the docking of uh, the Apollo spacecraft that was commanded by Tom Stafford along with Vance Brand and Deke Slayton as his crewmates uh, with the Soyuz 19 spacecraft commanded by Alexei Leonov and his crewmate Valery Kubasov as they uh, linked up uh, over the Earth, those five crew members uh, in the Apollo Soyuz test project, which... Uh, 37 years ago was a significant engineering and political statement that uh, brought the United States and what was then the Soviet Union together in a project uh, that resulted in the initiation of the joint cooperation that we have seen evolve over the course of three and a half decades to lead uh, to the International Space Station Assembly and its current utilization. The docking of the Apollo and the Soyuz occurring on July 17, 1975, at 11.09 a.m. Central Time, 12.09 p.m. Eastern Time, as the two spacecraft uh, flew over the Earth, with the hatch opening and handshakes between Stafford and Leonov occurring over the town of Metz in France. Uh, that uh, opened up two days of joint operations, a very significant historic milestone in human spaceflight history. 5715, is on, electrical connector is made. Copy. And the LED hooks open is now not illuminated. Okay, deactivate uh, visor pre-chow display. Uh, we see the uh, cycling of visor. This is Mission Control Koryov. Uh, we now have confirmation that the uh, hooks are closed on the uh, Soyuz vehicle at the docking interface with the Rosviev module. So we now have a hard mate between Soyuz and the International Space Station after a uh, flawless docking uh, between the two craft that occurred once again at 11.51 p.m. Central Time, 12.51 a.m. Eastern Time, as the two spacecraft flew 252 statute miles over northeast Kazakhstan.